in the world. This is the DreamHack Azo Open. to uh, change that and go forward as the last remaining course. Remember, in 2011, we had three. Mouse Sports Closing. <laughs> this dude, the TSL3 champion, and of course, up in the top right, is uh, gonna be Alternate Attack Sake, the German three times EPS champion. There is Sake on camera, a very calm individual. Yeah, he looks very composed right now. He's he scans, focused. he sees what he needs to do. And uh, the ghosts, of course, have eyes on the High Templar. And uh, two storms, not the best storms there. And there go the ghosts. EMP, the High Templar on the side. The, oh my god. Poor Zane, making this look easy. It's yeah. every single EMP. Crushes, he scans ahead. Zaka's making gateways, but that's not going to help. Oh man, this is checkmate, and Thor Zane is going to be winning this 2-0. There is the GG. Oh, 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 oh. actually gonna get away. He does get away indeed. Just barely. And he does see the Ultros cavern as well. He's gonna catch perhaps some of these Zerglings. The investors! The investors are going down! He's losing all the investors and now the Zerglings have no support! Thorzain taking a huge supply lead here. His 2-2 two -two upgrades are done. He's really is one small win away from the, oh my god this is actually I can't believe this is happening. One win away from going to the final he, he has the very best. will be able to do it position ever here and he's reinforcing like a legend look at this a fourth command center down as well it looks like he may be able to finally take out this hatchery oh my god Thorzane's unlocked the third hatchery now and is shredding damage down onto this ultralist and GG
Stepping it up, extending the series a little bit more, Thorzane, the methodical, the spoon, and he's been, you know, noted for having a very good talent versus Taryn, and the Koreans, even though Thorzane never really said it himself, they said he's one of the best TVTs in the world. You know, that was a statement, you know, Slayer's MMA, Slayer's, M uh, Slayer's Rung made as well. And well, let's give this guy an introduction then in the top right. Jackson Paul, who's getting frustrated, he, he has is to go. Uh oh, uh oh, this is it, this is this it. Is if it. he manages to crush this, he will be the champion. Is Thorzen gonna be your champion? We're about to find out. Paul's gonna, gonna go for it. There's not enough for Paul. Paul. He does not have enough. He does break this, but there's just so many reinforcements out there for Thorzen. He has not broken this cost efficiently enough. Look at this, 76 on the side. There's a little bit actually too much here. Yeah, he's going to take out this command center though. He's going to go the distance here, but he has so many barracks. Holt is forced, yeah, he has so many barracks and he Holt is forced to move his orbital actually from his main base down to that third base location. And if Thorzane kills that one, then he's going to be out of luck. 16 Marines at a time. Thorzane has another base on the left hand side, by the way. Yeah, he uh, has so many bases around the map. And here comes the Doom Drop. There is a turret in place and some of Polt's Marines, but it's just not going to be enough. The Medivac is not going to go down, and he gets them inside. And equally, a drop coming in here. But with the Thor and his Marines, he, will. he tears it apart. The Thor doing so much extra damage. Meanwhile, a huge force going to the natural Polt. He's going to tear it apart. GG, Thorzane is a facing another GSL champion and you won my friend. Congratulations. You're Stockholm champion!
the final is over, but now the after party starts. So everybody go to Slaktuset, which is like 150 meters away from here, and uh, we will fit in as many, many as uh, we can try. So please come. There's leaflets all over the place with maps. Come to the after party and have some champagne with Tufor, say.